<laughs> Welcome everyone to the GFP Online Congress 2021. I'm today with the beautiful Stephanie Tallon in an interview. Hi Steph, good to see you. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> and I will give a quick introduction and then we dive right into the questions. All right. Stephanie has been passionate about movement all her life. She fell in love with pole fitness and flexibility training when she went to her first pole class at the Pole Academy in Greenville, South Carolina in 2015. And I guess with Jack Spencer. Jack Spencer and Kilo. Love you guys. <laughs> Shout out to Jax here. <laughs> Steph worked previously as a CPA for one of the big four accounting firms, but after three years, she realized that's not for her. She needs to stop that and follow her passion. Her passion is to help humans of all disciplines to optimize their potential in pole, flexibility, and overall mobility. So, when I was in the process of planning the GFP Online Congress 2020, which was way before the pandemic, by the way, mm -hmm. I was looking for a person who could do the major part of warm up, stretching, and mobility sessions. And I think I was at the Pole Academy in Greenville at the moment, doing some training and posting something on Instagram. And then Steph commented something. I was like, oh my God, yeah, great to meet you. I looked at her profile. I was like, yep, that's her. So Steph is with us from the beginning. She did Yay. the first GFP online congress. And now... Stephanie Tallon and me, Christine Stein, we are hosting the GFP Online Congress 2021. Steph, can you happy dance. Yes. Yay. <laughs> More happy dance. Can you tell us what are you doing this year for the GFP Online Congress? Um, here you can join me for we have some warm-up sessions. Um, we have some poll sessions, of course. <laughs> uh, we also are going to be doing some flexibility work, some back bending, some splits, and we even have a fun body awareness session for you guys around back bends and the spine and core stability. So I'm very, very excited to work with all of you and yeah, just looking forward to everything. Yeah, we are excited as well. And you basically mm -hmm. see Steph every day of the online congress because yes. every because every day she's doing something with you, for you. So you definitely need to check that one out. And if you haven't, go see her Instagram profile as well and follow her. <laughs> yeah, Stephanie Talent underscore poll. I'm really excited to work with all you guys. And Yeah, we, we make the links on the, vi the video for sure. For sure. Uh, so what made you start pole dance? It was Groupon. <laughs> Groupon is the reason. Thank you, Groupon. Thank you, Groupon. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had, um, I was, like you mentioned, I was working in the big corporate world and had kind of lost track of movement um, when I first started there for like my first six months to a year. I, before starting to work at um, that company, I was really big into salsa dancing. That was my movement of choice and I still love it to this day, but mm -hmm. I started working and that was my passion at that time and just kind of lost track of, of movement. And I got to a point where I was like, I want something different and fun in my life. And Groupon, I went on there and the Pole Academy had recently opened in Greenville. And I said, yes, this is dancing. It's It looks fun. This looks like a great group of people. And so at that time, I grabbed my roommate and I was like, come with me. <laughs> <laughs> I walked in and it gives me goosebumps. It was love at first sight. I mean, I just fell head over heels. <laughs> I had my, took my intro to pole class with Jax and yeah, I think I might have purchased the membership that day. I was all in and um, a little off and on for the first six months of my journey because I was still working quite heavily. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, since then I did, I haven't looked back. It's been in my life and hopefully it's in my life <laughs> for as long as it can be. <laughs> we are so thankful you made that choice. <laughs> I'm very thankful. It, yeah, I mean, it, it sounds cliche. Jay, but it definitely changed my life for sure. For sure. 
what motivates you in your pole practice? Motivation. I think this one for me, there's a short answer, then there's a longer answer. So <laughs> we'll stick with the shorter answer first, and then I'll dive a little bit into my longer one. I think how that question is normally asked is like, what types of things do you do to motivate you? And if we look at it like that, I can go down the line of, you know, a fun playlist. I'll look for music that you know, gives you that goosebump feeling that just makes you want to dance around the pole. We all know that a new outfit is super motivating. <laughs> um, and just, you know, watching videos, I, I do make it part of my weekly routine to type in some hashtags to Instagram and save videos and say that I want to try. So music, new outfit, videos is the short right. answer. Okay. I think for the little bit of a longer answer, I, I have really just fallen in love with the process of pole and flexibility and movement. So it's something that I really enjoy doing and it makes me feel good and it makes my mind, body and soul feel good. And with where I am in my journey now, focused more on like process oriented goals and just doing things on the daily that feel good to me. Mm -hmm. If I do get to a day or a week where I'm getting that like unmotivated feeling, I tend to look at what, not so much that I'm unmotivated to move, but like, what am I more motivated to do? So if it's like lay down or if it's rest, then I look at, okay, maybe I'm just tired, <laughs> you know, maybe I'm sore. Maybe I need a day to recover um, so I try not to think too much of like being unmotivated to do something. It's more so like, what's the other thing that I'm going to do in place of it? And then I can dive down that rabbit hole. So awesome. yes. that's my longer answer. Yeah. <laughs> if that makes sense. Totally. Totally. Um, absolutely. Do you have a previous background in movement, like any other sports or dancing or something? I played soccer in high school and middle school. So soccer, middle school, high school. And then it was around high school that I had a similar experience with a friend invited me to a salsa class. The salsa classes, yeah. Goosebumps, fall in love. And I danced socially for about seven to eight years, mostly in Carolina. And we traveled to congresses and salsa, bachata, merengue. And that's something that still to this day makes my heart very happy. <laughs> so mostly that. And then that's when I found pole shortly after so you're still doing salsa? I do. We have a super fun scene here in Key West. We have live music every night um, out on a place called Mallory Square. So you can watch the sunset and dance salsa. You know, you can't get much better than that, except maybe if there is a pole out there. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Do you plan your pole sessions or like you have a let's say okay today it's back and then those tricks or you make it as you go like what's how do I feel today how does my body feel today talking about body awareness yeah so I definitely used to be one that I had to plan out my sessions like I had to have a list and I had to check them off and that's fine like that worked for me back then and I think that that works for some people And now I'm in this space of really experimenting and going more off of how I'm feeling. I'm in the pole studio five days out of seven days a week, but that doesn't mean that, you know, I'll get on the pole every day. I may do mm -hmm. back or I may just stretch or with, um, with filming content, I do plan that. So I do plan, you know, when I'm going to film stuff for design your practice, which we'll talk about later and get fit and pull. Um, but as far as my personal practice, it more so just ebbs and flows with the day, the week, what's going on around me, you know, and that, that works for me right now. I really, I like having that flexibility for sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's life quality. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> If you could give somebody who's pole dancing 
what advice where you're like, you know what, like from all the things I did, all the things I learned, this is the advice I think could be helpful. What would that be? If I had to choose one thing, that's tough. I think I would probably say practice both sides. <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh my gosh. It, okay, that's another okay. thing. It sounds okay, very but, cliche, but, but, but let's 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 dive a little bit more into that. Why would you say say that? It's I kind of go back to like having your practice like make like make your body feel good and it's mm -hmm. a lot of the moves we do in pole it's it's one sided. So we're either twisting on our right or we're twisting on our left or we have our right foot up over our head or our left and it, it, it can create imbalances in your body. And um, I think that it can create, I don't want to say issues or problems, but you may have to work a little harder later on in your journey if you've now have this one amazing side that can do everything and then this other side. The, the crab, um, the, the huge crab arm. I remember a meme where there was like a crab with like, with like a huge big arm and then the yes. other one was like tiny. Yeah, yeah, so it's really just like doing things that's that's going to help you progress at a rate that you want to over a long period of time. Now, you know, obviously, if you're doing competition or if you're, you know, mm -hmm. there's going to be things in your life that may say, hey, like you need to practice this one side because you're doing a routine. And, you know, that's a different situation. But I think overall, if you can do your best to practice both sides, I I saw this the other week. It was someone said that they have a favorite side and then they have a second favorite side. So it's a good perspective to have both of your sides. Yeah. <laughs> make you your, do all the things. Make your so, bad side the second favorite side. Exactly. Exactly. It helps you with the, your other side. So yeah. practice both sides, guys. <laughs> Apart from pole and salsa, <laughs> is there anything else in your life which is like a hobby or something you just love doing? So I actually started learning about this during quarantine because it was something that I was interested in. And I started learning about the stock market. Oh. So that has become actually a very interesting learning process for me that I have fallen in love with as well. So mm -hmm. I do day trading and swing trading of the stock market. Random. Oh my but... God. <laughs> Can I hire you? Like we need to talk right? about that after the end of you. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's so like totally fun. a swerve from okay. movement, but I, yeah, I've, I've loved learning about it. It's actually taught me a lot about my personality and it's ah. been something that's been really fascinating. So Yeah. So kind of like the stock market horoscope, like when you say yeah. like it teaches you about yourself and your personality. Yeah, it really oh, does. Wow. That, that yeah. sounds really, really interesting. Something else. I mean, that's already a lot, obviously what you're doing. Yeah. I mean, and then I wouldn't, maybe not a hobby, but just be, I live in Key West. So I, you know, we mostly have warm sunny days here. So I have a bicycle. I love to ride around the island You know, I'm, I'm a very like active person. So, you know, walk to the beach, walk on the yeah. pier, you know. So I you're an early sleep. bird person? I am an early bird person with no alarm. My body wakes me up <laughs> 5 30 to six o'clock every day. <laughs> And I'm like, let's go. <laughs> It's so funny because of the time difference, like All my friends in the US, like Stephanie would always be the first to react to an Instagram post or, you know, something like, oh, she's up early again. <laughs> so I, I kind of uh, expected that. Yeah. Yeah. So I, you, you prefer training in the morning as well? Or is that something where you're like, no pole sessions? I like, it's better to do them in the afternoon or as late as possible? Definitely mornings. Mm -hmm. I've Pretty much, I wake up, I get my coffee, I ride my bike to the studio, <laughs> I train, <laughs> I come back, and I watch the market. That's like my wow. first few hours of my morning during the week. So yeah, I, I definitely 
prefer morning times to it's when I yeah do better with my movement practice so that that sounds like a perfect day actually or half a day yeah <laughs> it's great <laughs> so you you are back for around lunchtime so what's your favorite food what's your favorite drink so, okay I was prepared for this question so I know like I told everyone to hey if you can bring something you love you absolutely my favorite love. food this is my Drum favorite roll. food right here what is oh cliff oh is this it is like mm. a cool mint chocolate cliff bar and they're amazing <laughs> what's what's in those so it's I, I use them as my, what I call like my intra workout carb. So there, there's like a lot of carbs in them and okay. I do better with that when I'm training to give me some energy. Yeah. Um, so it's basically like a chocolate oat bar and it has a little bit of caffeine in it because caffeine. So. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, and the second question you are prepared for is what's your favorite item of clothes? <laughs> okay, so this one. I can do a little <laughs> like demonstration for this one too because it's really awesome. I'm I'm ready, like oh okay. What so this this uh -huh. is my favorite hat, and the reason it's my favorite is because it has a ponytail and bun holder. Okay. Do you want a this, demonstration? Yes, please. Okay. Okay. Because <laughs> I know the, the regular trucker cap where you make a bun and then you put it through the hole, but this looks... So this hole, it's like a little bit higher. That's not a great bun, but like we're just going to have to go with it here. And it goes up at it, the top. It looks more professional, actually. Hold, oh, please. Ah. Oh my then, god. Woohoo! Yes, and it's like up there, like you have yeah, okay. It's great. I love it. And you can do awesome. a ponytail. So I'm not a I'm not a rep for this company, but they're amazing. That's why I'm giving them a shout. Yeah, I was like, do they pay you? <laughs> no, they no they don't. <laughs> but I love them. They're barbells and ponytails. <laughs> it looks awesome, pretty awesome. We, sh we should get that for Get Food Pole as well. Yes. <laughs> okay. Right. Maybe we'll just leave the messy bun. Thank, thank you so much for the demonstration. Like, um, yeah. your hair looks amazing both ways. We're just going to leave it like this because messy bun life. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, a more, maybe maybe an easy question to answer in one, one sentence. Maybe something to dive into. How did Paul change you or how is Paul changing you as a person? That, I think I mentioned earlier, like it seriously changed my life. Um, I, so I was working at a big four company. I was doing auditing. I thought that that was my passion. It was a job that meant a lot to me. And I, I did, I learned a lot during that job. However, I think in finding pole fitness and finding movement, it made me realize that that job was not for me. And mm -hmm. so it really like changed the trajectory of my life. Um, I, I ended up moving down to Key West because this is where my family was. But, you know, I, I moved down here and I just continued my Whole and, and movement journey here and I mean it's also just taught a lot of taught me a lot about myself you know mm -hmm. pole takes a lot of um I think it's just proved to myself that I'm like really resilient and you know I'm strong not so much in like the <laughs> strong but mm -hmm. just you know I can I can do hard things I'm resilient um I'm dedicated, you know, I didn't come from like a really like big movement background. If you're talking about like, you know, gymnastics or I did do gymnastics when I was like, you know, yay, hi, little mm -hmm. baby. Um, so it's just, it's taken a lot of time and 
and practice to, to get where I am today. And I'm like, I'm really proud of that. And, you know, it makes me feel really good that I've, that I've gotten here and that I can wake up every day and do what I love and not go to an office, which is for, for some people and it's not for me. Yes. <laughs> would, would you say that Paul taught you to be more resilient and strong and all those things, or is it there was already within you, but there was no output where it would show you how much, you know, capacity you have? Like, was there That's first the egg or, or the chicken, so to speak? <laughs> Like, what you said is definitely it's a, it's always been there <laughs> i think it definitely just brought it out mm -hmm, for sure awesome, awesome. Yeah. when people want to work with you or like how can people reach you like what do you offer how can they have a look at what you offer definitely so the best place to go would be to my instagram which we'll link down, but Stephanie Talent underscore poll. There's a link tree in my bio that has all the places you can find me. The first one would be um, Design Your Practice. Mm -hmm. That's my online program. It involves poll content. We talk about flexibility on there, body awareness. So that's a great, great resource for Even if you don't have a pole at home, there's a lot of flexibility and body awareness videos on there that are amazing to follow along with. I also offer through Design Your Practice um, a three day a week off the pole conditioning mm -hmm. for handstands, shoulder health, um, leg mobility and flexibility. So it's overall, it has a lot of content on there and I personally love being involved with my members on there. So When you sign up, we talk about your goals, we talk about what you want to accomplish with the program, and I provide my recommendations of the videos that you start with, and then we keep in touch. We have a member group for Facebook. Um, we have a Facebook for members um, where you're allowed to ask questions and videos and all that fun stuff. So that's the first one. I also have YouTube. Um, I have a mini tutorial series on there Or it's meant to be a resource for you if you're a student or a teacher to go on there and see some different moves for inspiration. And then I also teach online Zoom private. All the good stuff and, here. <laughs> yeah. All so guys, definitely check that out. We put all the links under the video. And of course, almost, not all the good stuff, but some of the stuff you will see at the Get Fit and Pull Online Congress, so you get an idea what Steph is doing and how beautiful she's teaching. <laughs> so, Steph, thank you so much that you're with us. Thank, thank you. you so much for your time, for the interview. It was so much fun. Super and, fun. Thank you, Christine. Yes, and we see you very very soon thank you guys yes. for joining It was a pleasure to have you guys bye, bye.